Just to show how much snowfall there is, road sign. We made it, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll get set up, and yeah, and then I'll give you a tour around in a bit. But this is my birthday surprise out of here in Jacques Cartier Park in Quebec. Thank you. Oh my God. Just went and got a bunch of firewood. It's a little bit chilly in here. So stir up the fire, get the place warmed up and uh, go from there. Here's the tour, all right? We already unpacked. She's already kicking back, getting ready to knit. Here's the thing, I unpacked, boom, right? This is the spot where I'm sleeping. And we were fighting over who sleeps closest to the fireplace, right? Because we got her bunk over there but she doesn't want to sleep over there. She wants to sleep close to the fireplace too, but that's not a problem. She's set up under here so we could just roll her under at night so she's nice and cozy underneath me. Family show. There's her gear bomb. There's the fridge. A nice little prep area. Hydrated meal going. When I got the stack of firewood, hopefully that's enough for tonight and the fireplace. Just a glamified tent. We're still camping, right? It's, it's more it's more like a glamping, I guess. How cold is it tonight? How cold is it supposed to be? Uh, minus 25 without a wind chill and everything, so yeah. So yeah, minus 25 without a wind chill tonight. The, with the wind chill, I think it was minus 40. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, pretty cold. So, minus 40 in Fahrenheit and Celsius is pretty much the same. It's cold. And uh, as Jill said, it's fucking cold. the next morning hello so she's she's laughing at me but all right she's getting uh instagram shots uh, we're just having some coffee oatmeal the backwoodsman uh, last night just ended up carving the spoon no. does get dark really dark here so she was uh, just mentioning the story you want to tell your story what story? about going through the washroom in the woods yeah and hearing like it's pitching dark it's a little bit creepy because like I wear glasses at night and it was super cold so from the breathing yeah. My glasses fog, so I got my headlamp, couldn't see really far. It was a little bit foggy last night, and like my glasses was fog, and I hear like something running in the main road, and I went like, holy shit, <laughs> and I'm running like to the little outhouse. Outhouse, like there, 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 there. is an out, there is an outhouse there. in the morning and it's pitch black and like here when it's dark it, i mean it's dark you yes. can't you it's can't correct. see and because it was snowing last night it was probably really really cloudy yeah so it was no moon no stars like, and, and what's really cool about here is that skylight oh, as you see the tree right there 
hoping it's going to be a clear night tonight so we could check out and see the stars. Grab, grabbing some more firewood. Do another uh, firewood run, uh, I guess later on in the afternoon. It got cold. Yeah, I slept well. So she ended up uh, waking up every hour, she says, to feed the fireplace. I don't know, I, I just slept best night's sleep I've had in a long time. So Yeah, you slept like a baby. Yeah, so I slept here. So I was in my sleeping bag with the uh, wool blanket wrapped up around. And then I also had uh, my Columbia sweater. So kept nice and warm with that. So Columbia, if you want to sponsor Anyways, we're gonna start breakfast. And we'll get back to you. So, she wants to go exploring. So, don't know where we're going, except for uphill again. But we're going to do some exploring and uh, just show you some of the sights. It's not really a hike. So, ready? Are the last day at the year I know uh, we didn't film much of everything but uh, basically it got dark here real fast at night around I think it was what 5 30 yeah, like 5 30 and like it was pitch black outside could barely see uh, like 10 feet ahead of you um, we got the place cleaned up so basically the rules of the yurt are right here one of them is uh you got to keep the place clean before you leave so basically as always you know leave no trace uh that goes the same when you're out in the bush and camping uh anything you want to mention about the yurt uh no like you said yesterday it's mostly a glorified tent so, yeah. yeah. So, or think about it as a really, really, really big hot tent. All right. Yeah. So with the stove and everything. Hey, so you know so, what day today is? Today is the day we go back home. Yeah, and it's your birthday. It's my birthday. So I'm turning 30. I'm turning 30. So. Almost. Almost. Turning 30. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday with you. Yeah. So this is a book on make your own pipe and all. So to help you do a lot of stuff with the resin I gave you. Ooh. So if you guys don't know, I got uh, resin for Christmas. And because she knows I'm a crafty guy. Yeah. And I like making things. So. And this is a little up and down. Awesome. So, very popular knife in uh, wood carving and everything. So, yeah, they come from Honest, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Bag. So, great birthday ending. Yeah. So, now we're going back home. Back home, we're going to see the baby. The cats, the baby's back home. And uh, going out for dinner tonight. So, anyways, I'm not going to be filming that. That's just our own, you know, personal private stuff. But yeah, yurt was fun and everything was fun here. But, guys, as always, thank you for the kind words and everything. Thank you for the support of the channel. And until next time, stay safe out there. Cheers.